Hi guys, welcome along to my first Energize class. For those of you who have been to my Energize class before, you'll know that I normally traditionally do this class seated on a Swiss ball. But what I'm going to do is do it sitting on a chair, because I'm thinking that probably most people are more likely to have access to a chair than they are a Swiss ball. If you've got a Swiss ball, great, grab it, um, sit on your Swiss ball like we do in the normal way. If you've got a chair, what I'm going to recommend is you sit onto it, but don't put your back against the back of the chair. So you're going to sit on it, have your knees out in line with your hips, feet about hip distance apart, shoulder distance apart, and just start to swing your arms forwards and back. So just gently get your arms moving. Let's just get the arms moving, gets the heart rate up a little bit. So just getting your circulation moving and then just start to swing your arms around. So be careful if you've got the back of the chair behind you, but you can still have plenty of range of movement to swing your arms from right to left. So do a couple more, come back to center again, swing the arms. So it's just gonna kind of loosen up the circulation, get us focused on what we're about to do here today, which is to get our body moving gently. So now extend the arms long, take a breath in and out. Breath in. And I'm using the same breathing pattern that I would use for Pilates. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, lower the arms down. So breath in. One more, inhale. Take a long breath out. This time, take the arms up and we're gonna open up the chest. Take the arms out wide and then bring the arms down to the side. So we come up to the front on a breath in and open, exhale, lower. So inhaling and exhaling. We'll do two more like that. So we come to the chest, open arms out wide, that opens the chest and bring your arms beside you, breath in. So what I'm gonna do is reverse that. So you've got your arms by your side, you go out to the side, bring it around in front and lower down. So what I want you to focus on with this one is you bring your arms around in front, still keep them shoulder distance apart here at the front. So we go wide to the side, open to the front, lower. Last one, breath in. And as you breathe out, just shift. You're gonna lean over towards your right side, come up through the middle and shift the lean your weight over to the other side. So we're getting into movement side body. So you lengthen through one side, stretch and extend. Just keep it flowing. Take your time, maybe pause on one side. I'll do one more to the left. When you come up through the middle, just take the feet slightly wider, not the chin down towards the chest, and you're gonna roll forward. So a little forward fold. You can take your head down between your knees, maybe give your head a little bit of a shake. Hands on the top of your thighs, and slowly, gently roll your body up. So let's try that again. Chin down, peel forward. So we're gonna slowly keep curling forwards, so maybe give your head a little bit of a shake. Hands on the top of your thighs and curl up. Just gonna give you one more like that. Not chin down, just lengthens the back of the neck, stretches the spine forwards. And then hands to the top of your thighs, scoop the belly in. So use the core to help lift you up when you get to the center, hold it here. Couple of shoulder rolls, lift the shoulders, roll them back. So the emphasis is taking those shoulders behind you. So again, I'm trying to create space and open up the chest. These movements may seem pretty simple and straightforward, but they're very, very energizing for the body. Take both the arms, palms to me, breath in, and a breath out, breath in, and a long breath out. We'll just do one more. You can look up, the fingertips up towards the ceiling, exhale, and again, roll those shoulders back. And what I want you to do is just to take your heels out in front of you, so what I call heel deck. So you're flexing your toes towards your shin. So get a little bit of movement here through your ankle joint. So heel deck. So the heel leads the way, toes flexing back towards the shin. Now what if I take that the other way and I do toe tap? So then don't have to lift the leg too high with this one, just get comfortable lifting your heel up off the ground. But as you're doing these movements and you're focusing on the legs, remember we're trying to sit nice and upright and tall. Think of that leg through the middle, the center of your body. So I'm start to get to pick the knees up. So just start to lift one leg at a time. Again, if you're sitting on a Swiss ball for this one, the challenge is to try and maintain stillness as you're sitting on the Swiss ball. For those of you not got a Swiss ball at home, as you can see, I'm doing this on a chair. Still gonna get your core activated, but there's, not just, there's just not as much um, instability through the body. You're still gonna train your body. Still gonna work the core. Good for your hip flexors. Let's do a couple more. Let's go for two knee lifts on the right. So we're going to lift one, 
two, one, two. And what you'll see I'm doing is I'm just tapping the toe down in between. So I'm not taking the foot all the way down. I want to lift it twice here, twice here. Two knee lifts on the right. Two. Let's go for one more round. One, two. What if we go for three this time? So this time, one, two, three. Point of difference here is I'm holding the leg a little higher. I'm not making any contact with the floor. So pulsing, two, three. So the foot's in flexion now. One, two, three. It's like you're trying to draw that leg closer towards the middle of your body. So again, good for core activation. Two, three. We'll do one more right. One, two, three. Last one on the left. One, two, three. Opposite hand, opposite knee. So I'm just going to come across. Opposite hand, opposite knee. Again, if you're sitting on a chair doing this one, make sure that you're not leaning back into the chair. So you're using your core to keep your body nice and upright. And I'm just tapping opposite hand to opposite knee. Nice and easy, nice and relaxed. Starting to get the arms and the legs involved in the movements now. Change the angle. What if I was to turn and let the knee turn out but the foot turn in? So I'm reaching a little further down. Remember, if you don't reach all the way down to your heel, that's not the important part. It's just the movement. So I could reach towards my heel, towards my heel, towards my heel. Do a couple more. So this is getting sort of a movement into your hip joint, external rotation, internal rotation of your heel. And then bring it back down and just give me a little toe taps again. Just tap, 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 tap. So from here, just take the arms, reach the arms out wide, take your right leg and tap it forward and out to the side. So it's forward, tap, side, tap, forward, tap, side. Right leg is leading the way, I'm tapping it to the front, tapping it to the side. Forward, tap, side, tap, forward, tap, side. Give me two more, one more, and try that on the other side. So right leg stays still, left leg is going to move. And I've just brought the arms out to the side here, just to help activate through the upper half of the body, toe tap forward, side tap to the front, to the side, forward tap, side tap, forward tap. Keep it flying again. You'll notice I'm keeping the heel off the ground, trying to use the toes. Doesn't have to go too wide. Just notice what feels right in your body. Last two, final one. Come back to opposite hand, opposite knee, opposite hand, opposite knee. And all these movements, I can already start to feel my heart rate getting up. As soon as you start moving your arms, start moving your legs, you'll very soon, very quickly start to feel your heart rate rising. But we're still basically in a seated position. Both feet to the ground, reach the arms out in front. Now open up through the middle of your body, lengthen the side body. The arms are active, extending out to the tips of the fingers. Pull back. Now if you've got the back of the chair, just be careful as you draw your arms back. You're drawing in, pulling through the fists as you come back and extending into the tips of the fingers as you come forward. So reach, pull, reach, pull. So let's focus on the breath. So we're going to get those arms pumping. Quite vigorous here. Again, this one's designed to get your heart rate up. You're going to get your huffy puffy. You're going to get your blood circulation moving. Reach and pull, reach and pull. Hold it out in front. Right arm. So I'm going to alternate pulling around. So it's a little spinal rotation. Rotate to the right, middle. Rotate. So you can notice I'm twisting and I'm trying to emphasize the twist through my rib cage. So right side hold, left side hold, right hold. And notice I'm taking my head with me, looking to the right, holding center, looking to the left. Let's do a couple more. Last one, right. Final one here on the left. Okay, take your right arm and pull it around four times. Three, just going one side. Two, last one. Change, let's mix it up. Four, three, keep it flowing. Two, last one. Switch, change. We're going to do four on the right. One, two, keep flowing. Three, last one here. Switch, change. Four on the left. One, two, Three, last one. Reach those arms, pull them back through the middle. Four to go. Three, two, last one. Take the arms, breath in. Exhale. Should be feeling a lot warmer. Breath in. Exhale. Big circular movements of the arms. When you get back down, bring your elbows, hug your elbows towards your ribcage. Turn your palms up towards the ceiling. So I call this the waiter move. Elbows hug in. You take your right arm and then your left arm. 
and turn it out. So imagine you're serving someone a sort of platter of drinks or nibbles. You're going, you know, would you like some? Would you like some? So the elbows are staying where they are. You're just moving the lower half of the arm. So out to the right, out to the left. And you should be able to feel your elbows hugging your rib cage. So the upper arm stays still, I'm only moving the lower. What if we do the two together? Out and in, out and in. And all the time, you're feeling the upper arms almost hugging towards your rib cage. Give me two more. One more. Hold it out there, move away, pull the elbows almost like you're just about to draw your elbows behind your rib cage. Palms to me, draw it in. Open, close, open, close. Reach out, pull in. Keep going, five. Remember your breath, four, three, two. Last one. Again, sweep those arms up, breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, exhale, last one here, breath in, bring the arms around, lift that right leg, come into balance, point and flex, point and flex. I'm just going to move through the ankle joint. So at this point, I'm just pointing and flexing. If it feels more comfortable, what about a rotation? You could do a couple in and a couple of external rotations through that ankle joint, change the leg lead. There's a tendency when we do this to lean back, so keep nice and upright, point and flex. So now I'm just loosening up through the ankle joint on the other side, point and flex, a couple of movements, engage that core, maybe rotate, a couple of circles rotating in, take your time with this, a couple of circles rotating out, do whatever feels right in your body, point and flex might be easier than rotating, place that leg down, lift that leg, go out to extension. A beautiful hamstring stretch. If you need some support, place the hand under that thigh, maybe point and flex out there. Bring it in, lower it down. Let's try that on the other side. Knee, go out to extension. If you want some support, place the hand under the back of your thigh, point and flex. With or without the support, have a feel what feels right in your body. Bring that knee in. I'm going to try that again, but this time as you lift, think of that length through your spine. Extend out. I want you to give me four hamstring curls. Curl, push out to extension. Curl, push out. So working the back of your thigh. Do one more hamstring curl. Push, find balance. Place that leg back down. Try that on the other side. We go out to extension. Find balance, four hamstring curls. One, push. Two, three. Do one more. Push it away. Hold it there. Bend the knee, place that leg down. Just tap the toes again. Whew. So I'm already feeling quite warm, quite hot. I hope you are too. We've got the circulation moving, got your body moving. We've moved everything from your ankles, knee, hip, shoulders, arms. Feet still, feet flat. Take a deep breath in. Inhale. Exhale. One more. As you bring your arms down, extend out to the tips of your fingers. And little rotation. Turn to the right rotation to the left. Try and keep the arms fairly straight and still. You're actually moving from here. The rotation comes through the rib cage, wrapping, rinsing, and rotating around through the center of the body. You can take your head with you, so you look to the right, look to the left. Let's do one more right. Last one to the left. Come back through center, lower the arms down. One more, nod the chin down towards the chest. Beautiful stretch of that spine coming forwards. Hands on the top of your thighs, support your body as you roll up. And we'll do one more. Nod the chin down towards the chest, curl forwards, take your time. Hands on the top of your thighs, slowly curl up. And just finish with three breaths here. Take a breath in and out. Inhale, exhale, last one. Breath in, long breath out. Roll the shoulders back. So I'm going to transition, I'm going to move you down towards the ground. We're still going to use the okay, so I've moved down towards the ground. I'm now using the chair, or you could use your Swiss ball, to support the weight of your legs. So my legs are in what's known as tabletop position. Knees stacked over the hips, shins towards the ceiling. I've just got my heels, so make sure that the heel is being supported here. So then from this position, you're just going to very gently curl your head, neck and shoulders off the mat. So you breathe in. 
as you exhale. Coming into what's known as the Pilates curl. Inhale, lower. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Breath in. So it's just a very gentle movement. It stretches the back of the body, curling head, neck and shoulders off the mat. Do one more. Breath out. And once you've lowered this time, leave your head on the mat, leave your arms beside you. You're just going to bring one knee at a time towards the middle of your body. So one leg is being supported by the chair or by your Swiss ball. And you're just going to bring one leg in at a time Knee towards the middle of your body. Keep it flowing. Breath in. Breath out. Just do one more right to left. Take your time with this. Take a breath in. Curl the head, neck and shoulders off the mat again. So this stretches the back of the body. Inhale, lower. Nod the chin down. Exhale, curl to about the tips of your shoulder blades. Do one more. So first you move the head, curling, lengthening through the spine as you contract and shorten the front of the body. Now lower the head down. This time I want you to lift the foot off the chair and you're going to tap towards the ground. One leg at a time goes around. So you're just tapping around and around. So one foot to the ground, one foot to the ground, one heel resting on the chair. Toe tap, lift, toe tap, lift, toe tap, lift, toe tap. So all these movements that I'm doing here with the legs are still connected to the core chain. So it's working the area that around the hips, the pelvis, lower back. So keep going. Keep focusing on your breath. One more right to left. And then hold it there. Take a breath in. And curl the head, neck and shoulders off the mat. Breath in as you lower. And breath out. We'll do one more. Exhale, curl the head, neck and shoulders off the mat. Pause it there. Lower your head, neck and shoulders down. This time, bring your right leg in and stretch it away. So it's in a nice, long, straight line. Just hover that leg away from the chair. Lift it up with the toes pointed. Flex the foot lower. Point left. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Bend that knee, place that foot on the chair. Bring your left leg in. Straighten that left leg out. Now point the toes. This leg is long and straight. Lift it straight up. Flex the foot, lower it down. So point to lift. Flex to lower. Inhale, exhale. Slowly control the movement, lifting. And lowering, last one, point left, flex lower, bend the knee, place that foot back on the chair, take a breath in, curl the head, neck and shoulders off the mat, again come into that Pilates curl, breath in, and breath out, one more, exhale, curl, head, neck and shoulders off the mat, as you lower the head back down this time, bring the right leg in, Take it up in the air so it's in a straight line, straight line from ankle, knee to hip, and draw a small circle on the ceiling, and then rotate it around the other way. So imagine using your big toe, like a paintbrush, draw a circle on the ceiling. Last one, draw it around, hold, bend the knee, place that foot back on the chair, left leg draws in, extend it up, toes are pointed, Try and get the leg to stretch like you're lifting the leg out of your hip joint. Circle the leg around. So it's a circle around one way. And then it's a circle around the other way. So breathing in. And then breathing out. So known as leg circles, you're doing a circle around in one direction. And then I'm repeating that circle around the other way. Do one more right. Last one left. And as you bend the knee, place that foot back on the chair. So make sure your feet are fully supported. Press your arms down, shoulders back. Very gently this time, I want you to lift your bottom and your hips away from the floor and lower back down. So super slow. We're going to turn, to sort of tilt that pelvis towards the body, lifting hips. 
and lower back and then curling back towards the mat. So it starts with a pelvic tilt, curl, scoop the belly in, curl up and lower slowly down. So do a couple more. Take your time, articulate and move as slowly as you can back to the mat. Last one here, curl that pelvis, tilt the pelvis, come up, slowly lower it back down. Nice, take a breath in. Curl head, neck and shoulders off the mat. And tuck your body into just a tight little ball shape. So bring your knees towards your chest. If you feel it's too much in your head, you can place your head down and just have your knees to your chest. You could place your hands on the back of your thighs. Or you can have your hands halfway down. Just a little rock from side to side. Just a nice little release for that lower back. And then we're going to come down with the feet onto the floor. Okay, so I'm going to bring you to a comfortable seated position to finish off with some gentle stretches for the end of this practice. If you need to, you could place a cushion underneath your hips if you're feeling a little tight around your hips or your lower back. Otherwise, sit in a comfortable, relaxed seated position. Could be with the legs out in front or sit cross-legged. And take the arms to the side. And all I want you to do is very gently lift your left arm up as you extend and stretch up and over towards the right side. Take a breath in. And then exhale up and over. So we're working into side body, breath in, exhale, come up and over to the side, breathing in and exhaling, one more, so this time as I come up and over, I want you to lean and look down towards your right side and circle that top arm and bring it around in front of you, inhale and exhale, circle that arm around in front of you. So your arm goes up. Imagine you're drawing a circle with your arm around your body. Last one. Reach that arm up and over. Imagine you're drawing a circle and bring it around. From here, extend the legs out in front of you. Have a little bit of space between your feet. You can have your knees slightly bent. Bring your right leg in towards you and have the opposite arm hugging that bent leg in towards the middle of your body. Sweep the arm around, take it either behind your back or onto the floor or around your waistline as you gently twist to one side, so spinal rotation. So there's a lot going on in this pose. I'm giving you a beautiful hamstring stretch, a calf stretch into that front leg. We're getting spinal rotation and also a nice beautiful stretch into your glutes. So take a couple more rounds of your breath here. And as you come around, let's transition. So bringing the leg in as comfortable as it feels. It could be further away or closer towards your body. Front foot, leg is straight, foot is flexed. And I'm going to rotate opposite hand, opposite leg. Twist, rinse, rotate your body gently around to one side. So spinal rotation. As you're looking behind you, I want you to emphasize your breath drawing up through your spine and rotate as you breathe out. So the inhale lengthens the spine and the exhale helps with the gentle twists and rotation. Let's take one more round of your breath here. And then as you come back through the center, bring the soles of the feet together into a comfortable position. So you can have a play around with different ranges of movement. You can take your feet further away or bring them closer towards you. Let the knees just drop open. So long as the foot, the outer edge of the foot and the ankle is supporting and your hip is supported, it's okay to have the knees just floating in midair. Gently curl forwards, allow the head to come down. Slowly curl your body. And this just comes the nervous system, it slows the energy of the body down. So as we're coming into these gentle stretches at the end of the practice, just notice your breath. Breathe calmly and quietly.
And then again, gently walk your hands back towards your body. Release those legs. Bring the right leg in front and take your left leg to one side. I'm just going to get you to lean over your right leg. So just come all the way down. Walk your hands back towards your body. We'll try that on the other side. Bring your left leg in front, take your right leg behind. So getting into your hip flexors here, nice stretch as you move away from this thigh, a nice stretch into your quad. Hinge forward, so you're getting compression of one hip and an opening of that back hip. So just lean forward. You could use your arms as a prop, you could just come up onto your forearms, so your head, your chest is away from the floor. You don't have to come all the way down towards the ground. Let's take a couple of gentle breaths here. And as you walk your hands back towards your body, seated position, sit nice and relaxed, comfortable position. Raise your hands towards your heart. And we're going to bring this practice to an end here today. And I just want you to focus on your breath. Nice deep breaths. Take an inhale, open up, and almost with a big sigh, let it go. So you look up on a breath in, big release. One more. So our first energized practice brought to an end here today. I really hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.